The Order 1886 has one of the most unique worlds we've seen in some time. Let's jump into the steampunk werewolf's fantasy and see what it's all about. My name is Stanley111 and welcome to the Order 1886 lore video. The Order 1886 is a PlayStation 4 exclusive, which is focused on cinematic storytelling. We can see just by looking at the trailers the developers' attention to detail, and the facial expressions of each actor coming to life in all of the characters. The year is 1886, and London looks kinda like it should in that time period. Iconic landmarks such as Big Ben, Westminster Palace and the Tower of London are all there, but things aren't quite the norm. The world of the Order changed dramatically somewhere between the 7th and 8th century, when a small group of humans took on beast-like traits due to the general populace's fear of the half-breeds, war suddenly broke out. Even though the humans massively outnumbered them, their animal strength gave them a massive advantage in the centuries of conflict. Look at these things, imagine going up against it with just a sword, it would hardly feel it. But if you use something like um, a cannon or another major firearm, that would sure hurt it. But a sword? No, definitely not. Centuries of being on the losing side, humans finally had a new hope. Funnily enough, in the mythic King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table. They finally take the fight to the half-breeds, but even he, King Arthur, can see it's a losing battle. Through a little twist, possibly in fate, the knights discover something called Blackwater, a mysterious liquid that can significantly extend their lifetime and gives them wolverine-like healing abilities whenever they intake some of the substance. This potion, or whatever it is, will hopefully be explained further during the story within the game. Even with these new advantages, the half-breeds continue to dominate the battles between the two sides. At least until the start of the Industrial Revolution, which turns the tide in the humans' favour. This isn't quite the same industrial revolution as you may have been taught about in school. Oh no. In this timeline, at the start of the industrial era, humans have created some crazy things. In 1886, wireless communication is a thing. New weapons are invented that are straight out of the vast imagination of Dr. Nikola Tesla. These weapons, used against the constant threat, can possibly launch bolts of electricity or fiery molten death at their foes. It's a crazy mix of steampunk, science fiction and fantasy, these genres could really mix up well. I am definitely hyped for this game. Now, the year is 1886. The endeavorous war is still going strong. You play one of the knights named Grayson, the third to bear the title of Sir Galahad. You're fighting to protect humanity. Things aren't going as planned though. Life for humans still sucks majorly. Living in threat of danger and martial law is the norm. And now a new rebellion has broken out that opposes the rich social order of the knights and other upper class. From the looks of it you'll be focusing most of your time on the four main characters, all named after the original knights, each having a defiant personality and a connection to Galahad. It'll be interesting to learn more about each character, being alive in this war for centuries I'm sure they'll have some interesting stories to share. So a group of Arthurian knights, totally surrounded, on one side, ferocious wolverines, and on the other, bandit rebels desperate to fill you with bullets. So what do you guys think of the upcoming title? Are you excited or are you still sceptical? Tell me down in the comments below. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you've not done so already. My name is Stally111, see you guys on the next video.